Welcome to the video tutorial series on modding simple planes. In this video we're going to be covering the basics of creating a custom part and we'll take an existing jet engine and increase its power. To get started, let's fire up Unity. Create a new project. For my Visual Studio package. And we want to import the Simple Planes Mod Tools package. Okay, let's open up our Mod Builder window. Create a new mod. And now we want to add a part game object. Here we have the options to create a brand new part from scratch or we can clone an existing part. In this tutorial we'll, we will be cloning the small jet engine. Okay, there's a lot going on here so let's kind of take a look at things. We have a part script and here we have the name of the part and a bunch of information about the part, some color values, we got information about how the part shows up in the designer. Uh, then we got the option to add modifiers, add attach points. Here we have what I call a prefab link script. This, what this says is the actual prefab used for this part links to an existing prefab already in Simple Planes. So whenever this custom part is loaded in our mod, it's going to say load the prefab in Simple Planes with this particular ID. Um, we also have some part modifier scripts here. Now let's talk about those for a second. Part modifiers are what provide the actual interesting behavior for the different parts. Without a part modifier, they would just simply do nothing. In this particular case, for the small jet engine, we have two modifiers. We have an input controller, which ties the throttle input to actually making the jet go. And then we have the engine script, which provides the actual power that pushes the engine. If we take a look at the part game object here, we can see a bunch of attachment points underneath it. These attachment points describe how the part actually attaches to the other parts within the game. Now there's nothing else under this part. That's because we have a part prefab link script. This links to an existing prefab in Simple Planes. If the script were not included on this object here, then whenever we were to save this part, everything underneath the part would be bundled up as a prefab in the game, and that's what the part would consist of whenever it's loaded. Uh, since we had that prefab link, the only thing that's going to get exported whenever we save this part are these attachment points. If there was anything else under here, in addition to these attachment points, it would just be ignored. It's also worth noting, if you hover over a bunch of these labels, you'll get tooltips. Uh, the documentation probably isn't great, but it can be better than nothing when you're getting stuck. Whenever you hover over some of the properties for the part modifier scripts, you can see some example values for existing parts we have defined in simple planes. Okay, let's make a few tweaks here. The name property here is something that's not actually going to be displayed to the user unless they get some kind of error dialog or something. So for us, we're going to call it TurboJet Fast. Now I kind of want to, just for organizational purposes, rename my game object the same thing. Uh, most of these other values are fine. The designer info stuff here is actually going to be displayed to the user. So we'll call this small jet engine fast. Uh, for the description, we'll just say a faster version of the small jet engine. Uh, categories, still propulsion, all that's fine. And one last tweak here is we want to actually change the power. Um, let's just make it 10 times as fast. All right, that ought to be good enough. Let's export this part. Come over here, say save selected scene object. You can see my part shows up in the parts list. That's great. Let's say save mod. All right, let's fire up some planes and see if it worked. Come here, enable my mod. Jump into the builder here. Um, let's up the Mustang. 
And under propulsion, if we scroll down to the bottom here, we got small jet engine fast. If we drag it out, we can attach it to the P-51. And let's see if it flies. That's pretty fast. And that's kind of the basics of taking an existing part in Simple Planes and tweaking it just a bit. Thanks for watching.